Hello everybody, my name is Ace Face. Here I am in a Munin Heavy Assault Cruiser. We're gonna make our way to low sec. We're gonna use a filament to jump ourselves and launch into low sec to take on some winter nexus sites. Winter nexus sites are the winter event that we've got going on and they're all over the place. They're in high sec and also in low sec. The low sec variants, I've never tried them before. Uh, I've made quite a few videos on the high sec ones. They're pretty easy. You only have to take out a few enemies and then the boss spawns in. Uh, the low sec ones, I've seen that they are quite a bit more difficult. Uh, I was inspired to do this because I saw Torvald Urus do this. He made a video using the Vagabond and I was thinking we might as well take this on as well. And I was thinking we were going to use the uh, Munin because I think the Munin is really great because it can do all damage types and it's also got like very good EM and thermal resist which is very good against Sancha because it can do all damage types we can target the specific damage type we need to do against the Sancha which is EM so we can use EM based missiles and uh, we have quite a bit of tank because of how much resist we have so hopefully it'll go good we've got some filaments to launch ourselves into low sec we'll try them out I've never used these filaments nor done these sites before so this is a new thing for me I wanted to take you guys on this journey to getting that done that was cool on dock animation in the Citadel here. Very right, still a cartography. Okay, so we'll go to the middle of space because we can't really use these kind of filaments close to any structures like abyss sites, I believe. And I'm also in a fleet because pretty much all these filaments almost always require you to be in some kind of filament. So just for the sake of uh, going into a fleet. The sites, they've said to have very good loot and that'll be a good change of pace from what we find in the high sec ones because the high sec ones have not been that great. Being about 8, 9 million isk. Torvald said that you get up to 90 million plus uh, in these sites. So it should be good. Uh, the fit here is going with missiles because that's what the Munin is made for now. Uh, it's got good application. We've not got so many application modules because this ship naturally has pretty good application. The bonuses on it uh, favor the explosion velocity. I believe it's explosion velocity we can see here. The explosion velocity you can see here. But then we've also got these uh, missile guidance computers which we can reprogram to have precision scripts which can aid application if we need it. And we can also switch over to different types of missiles if we need extra application. So we're focusing on tanking the Sancha, as I said before, EM and thermal resist. With all our modules active, we have 94 HP per second. Okay, we will use the low sec to go to a, a filament in, or a storm that is in low sec. As far as I understand, that's how it works. So we'll go there, teleport there, and then when we're done, we will use this one to go back to high sec. I'll keep an eye on low sec. Oh, look at that. Look how many people there are here. Uh, these are these combat sites here. Yeah, these are combat sites. We can also use the D scan to look what's nearby. Oh, there's lots of people mining. Okay, so that means that we could perhaps look for people, or there's perhaps a possibility that we can get through this unscathed because we'll be able to. We'll have a lot of people just mining here, not combat based people here. Okay, see if we can go with Kaldari Navy or Mjolnir. Let's just see if we can go with. Um, I'm not sure actually which one should we go for we've got the D scan so we can always just see that if someone's here I'm not sure which damage or ammunition type we'll use perhaps we will use what is like a range on this the javelin the DPS is 400 where's the DPS on the Kaldari Navy we can quickly check in the fitting simulator let's see now Kaldari Navy 600 and the range is 30 so we'll go with Kaldari Navy I think that's going to be better against the small stuff then again, maybe our application is so good that we apply max with just regular rage. So we're supposed to burn out here. That's the strategy here. Burn out as much as you can. Munin is a Minmatar ship, so it's quite quick. Okay, so we'll take out these frigates first. They're a bit annoying. We've got the armor repairs going on. And we'll just keep de-scanning to see if we can find any people nearby here trying to cause problems. We can actually switch over to precision script since everything is really close. Could have maybe gone for webs, but they're actually they're not in web range. So it's good that we've got this kind of setup here. We're going maybe a, bit, a little bit too fast actually. Oh, we're not even able to lock them up. Why can't we? Maybe they're using some sensor damp or something like that. Okay, good. Taking that guy out. What are the bonus here? Reduced heat damage and increase in thermal resistance. Okay, so that means we've got quite a bit of thermal resistance. Yeah, 80%. That's pretty cool. 
Oh, okay. That battle cruiser, he warped out. Or warped away. That's why it was hard to lock him up, I think. Let's keep moving. Oh, this is great. It's not going too bad. Let's see if we can take out that last frigate before we go for the cruisers and battle cruisers. Nobody nearby. We've got the right D-scan filter on, right? D-scan, yep. Yeah. So the application is not too good to these frigates, but it's not the whole world. We've got these cruisers, which we will very likely apply really well to. We need to put some missile range scripts here because we're not in range. Let's get some range going on. Need to get a bit closer, actually. Missile range. Why is he out of range? He's warping as well. Again. This battle cruiser seems like he really loves to warp in and out here. Hmm. Doing not so much damage actually. 1,200 and only 300 damage. He's got 55% EM. So we're actually not getting too much application going on. So we probably should put some missile precision scripts to increase application. I'm surprised. Considering we're using Kaldari Navy. We're still not able to apply to this cruiser over here. And this is also a ship that is geared towards application as well. I'm a little bit surprised. Could be there's a Sancho going a little bit quick. Hmm. Yeah, I'm a bit disappointed with how this application is. Heavy assault missiles, I generally speaking, have a hard time getting them to apply well. I thought it would have been better than this to these non-abyssal NPCs because Abyss NPCs tend to be pretty difficult, that's why I have a hard time getting heavy assault missiles to apply there, but here, in the high sec, I would have expected it to be a bit different. So here we seem to be getting full application, thankfully. And we take basically zero damage, we are perfectly fine. I think we probably could even reduce the tank and increase our application. I think we would go a long way by increasing application. Because we're really over tanking this. We're barely moving at all. And this has a lot to do with our resist being so high. That they're barely able to do any damage. But he's actually doing a bit of explosive damage. I'm a bit surprised by that. You can see he's doing kinetic and explosive damage. Okay. wonder what kind of loot we'll get from this site when it's done. But there's quite a few waves. It's not just an easy uh, one wave site. There's multiple waves. I think we can keep a distance like this is safe because if someone warps in then we'll they'll have a harder time catching us we can have a bit more time to warp out oh that's a bit annoying how there are all these little frigates here but i think these heavy assault cruisers seem to be pretty well geared towards this because of how they're not too expensive this is costing us 200 million isk okay let's go for the frigates first because they're most annoying we'll want to get them taken out first Oh, they're spawning even more reinforcements. We tank so well. I look at the ones that are doing EM and thermal damage. Basically no damage at all. But they're just so slow. The frigates are so slow to take out. And they're going very... Actually, yeah, they're pretty quick, these guys, with 800 meters a second. It would benefit a lot from a web. Probably a Federation Navy web would be great because of its range. Otherwise, we'd have to be really close. Like a lot of these guys are outside... 10 kilometer range of classical tech 2 webs we could obviously get a bit closer but i like to be able to keep range at the same time i can see in that kind of situation a vagabond being good because you're sort of able to apply without having to uh, really readjust yourself or get closer to use a web or something like that i'm just surprised how badly we apply considering we're using caldari navy but they are very quick these guys they are very quick actually and I don't think they're using MWDs, they're using afterburners. We don't have that much application stuff on us though. We have those two computers here, but these are not so effective in increasing our application. Other than that, we've not got a whole lot of application boosters. And in fact, none apart from the ship's natural hull bonuses. But the tank, oh, it's so good. No problem at all. I'm just a bit nervous with how many people there are in the system. 22 people in a low sex system is no joke. Don't see that every day. Okay, go for the hail burst. Ice white. Who's webbing us? I wouldn't want to get webbed. For some reason, I noticed that when I get webbed by NPCs, 
warping takes a bit longer. I'm not sure if that is because you're not able to change your course of velocity as easily. Because I thought that having yourself webbed makes it easier to warp because your max speed is reduced. But I noticed that if I get webbed by NPCs at least, especially in missions, it takes a really long time and that's something I don't want to happen here if some person, some pirates, and like a player pirate is going to come and try to kill us. The good thing is that you've sort of got a gate, so I think you have to uncloak to be able to warp into this site, so then you know that someone's coming. And you can always see on the, check on the D-scan here too. Ale burst ice white. I think we are getting almost perfect application here, but it would be really great if we could use rage. The only problem with rage is that the range would be really bad. We wouldn't be able to hit. It's going to be even worse than Kaldari Navy. But not that much worse. The biggest range increase we get is when we're using the javelin missiles. They are very, they hit very far, far like a javelin, you know. I think soon we should be coming to the boss. I'm not sure if it's the next wave or the wave after that. that it's going smoothly. Probably an Amarian base ship would be good here, because they'll deal EM damage with the lasers. But then they'll also be armor-based, so they'll have high EM and thermal resist naturally. Thing is, though, these guys seem to be doing a bit of mixed damage stats, because I'm seeing kinetic and explosive weapons being used. Could be good maybe with their reactive armor hardener. Again, a reason why an armor-based ship would be good, because sort of can adapt based on what is incoming. The cruisers feel like they go down quicker than the frigates, actually, because we apply so much better than them. Oh, that went really quickly. I think it might be that my velocity vector was in a favourable way for our missiles to hit. Because sometimes when you travel in a certain direction relative to the enemy, your missiles will hit a lot harder. Because their explosion sort of lands a bit a lot better. I'm not exactly sure how it works. But I think the next wave then will be the boss. Should be. Well, I've heard you get a lot of isk. And if it is as much as I thought, if I think you get... It'll be well worth the risk of going to low set because we our, our ship is 200 million. We should be able to earn it back just after a couple of sides if we get good drops. Nothing on the D scan as well. That's cool. I wonder if stealth bombs could be good because they could perhaps keep range, kite away, and also get through low set pretty easily. Are they able to do uh, EM damage too if you're using, say, for example, a purifier? Could be an option. Could definitely be an option because they've got long range as well. So they could keep it at a safe distance and they would wreak havoc to the battleship because they could use rage torpedoes then oh bifrost oh no no i do not need someone to come here just when the boss is gonna come in let's go to this 0.5er yeah no we don't have a chance here unless we somehow keep range and manage to destroy the the battleship before these guys get close are they fast uh, we're faster than them it seems oh never mind they're up here close they're starting to attack us straight away let's deploy drones what about this one ah we're reloading as well we'll have to go for them soon We'll align out, and as soon as we lose the web on them, or we'll get any like a web to is stop attacking us. I mean, scram. We'll see if we can warp out. See if we can break through him. Is he? Maybe we can switch. No, oh, I don't think we have. I don't think we have a different damage type. We only have EM. That's silly of me. Because I think a Bifrost has a different resist profile. That is very. Uh, good for EM yeah you see if we had like explosive or kinetic then that would be good well Varga is here too I don't know if the Varga is going to attack us or the Bifrost is going to yeah, we'll fit there with the Bifrost we'll see well there's a crucifier too stop overheating we're able to it seems like we're able to somewhat get through this maybe are we able to do any damage to this oh look at that a marauder as well? What? Why aren't they going for the other people? Yeah, there's no chance here with the marauder. 
That's a bit hardcore, isn't it? Varga, Kronos, Crucify, and two Bifrosts against a lone Mutin. Well, it seems like the Bifrosts went away. I'm not sure why. Okay, no, actually, it seems like... I think perhaps the Crucify was destroyed. What is this? This is a Marf regular. Okay, the Crucify was not with them, it seems. We'll see here. What about these guys? There's a Varga. And there's also a Kronos. We'll see here. Will it be a battle between these two? I think those Bifrosts, they were there to perhaps hold me down. While these guys do the main work. Yeah, you see they're still there. That was so annoying. Just the last NPC. Oh. Well, it's not a particularly expensive ship, but a lot of people here. So it feels almost like this has been a camped place, but we've got a lot more people in the system. So it seems like perhaps they just jumped here just now. There's 22 people before now. Suddenly there's a lot more. He's shooting someone. They're shooting the boss. Oh. It was just when we were going to get the boss. I should have, I could have warped out. It was not like I could have, couldn't have avoided this, but it's just annoying, you know. We've stayed all that time and then when you get, finally get there, then nope. Yeah. out. <laughs> Look at those pirates right there. Marauders, dual marauders. Dual marauders taking on a lone immunin. Do you have no shame? Are they attacking each other? They seem to be attacking each other, actually. Ah, oh, well. These are the low sec winter nexus sites we tried but we failed we'll maybe try it again sometime we'll see if i get around to it otherwise uh, oh wait is this a elite cruiser wreck that's mine okay anyway i think it's enough for now hope you guys enjoyed unfortunately it didn't end too well but that's just the nature of evil online sometimes it ends well sometimes it ends not so well if you did enjoy the video please leave a like and subscribe i'll catch you guys later